How to authenticate request using the REST API token with Ansible, also called as token-based authentication in REST API. I'm going to show you in a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Berton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Today we are talking about Ansible module URI. The full name is ansible.builtin.uri, which means that is part of a collection on module built in with Ansible and shipped with it. It's a module pretty stable and out for years, and it works in a different variety of POSIX operating system. It interacts with web service and support Digest, Basic and WSSC HTTP authentication mechanisms. If you need to download a content, use the ansible.builtin.get underscore URL module. For Windows target, use the ansible.windows.win underscore URI module instead. Parameters this module has some parameters to perform a lot of tasks. The only required is URL where you specify the API URL. The parameter method specifies the HTTP method to of the request get, post, put, patch, delete. The parameter username and password specify the credential to access the API in a basic authentication scheme. Several authentication methods are support, but the simplest is basic HTTP authentication. Remember to enable the force underscore basic underscore auth boolean. The parameter status underscore code set the expected single or list of expected HTTP status code. The most common are OK, so 200, not found, 404, and so on. Please note that Ansible is going to return an error if the status code is different. The parameter headers set the custom HTTP headers and HTTP content type. The parameter body underscore format set the serialization format of the body content. Default is raw, but you could customize to send an image, for example, or I don't know, a JSON. There are some restrictions with content type and some serialization, so take a look on the documentation. The parameter return underscore content is very important to return the body of the response as a content key in the dictionary result. The default timeout is set to 30 seconds, but you could customize with the timeout parameter. Demo Let's jump in a real-life playbook about how to get a token-based authentication in REST API with Ansible. Are you ready to have fun? Let's go! Wait a minute. First of all, we need a real API and this website requests.org IN is the best way to have a real working API free to access just to do your development. And guess what? There is a, a login token just ready to be used. As you can see, there is a slash API slash login. We need to send some JSON, this email and password, and we are going to obtain a real token. So, are you ready to have fun? Let's jump to my editor. 
Welcome to my editor, I will show you one simple playbook to interact with this API. First of all, let's begin our play with a name, URI, module demo, in my case, that is going to target hosts, all of my inventory. I don't need root privilege, so become false. And let me define also some variable. I would like to use server as uh, the host name where I'm connecting to HTTPS www uh, no <laughs> HTTPS recres dot it and endpoint will be in my case slash API slash login. Here we go. Oh, it's not it is dot I N. Oh, damn it. Is a habit. Okay, now it's correct the URL. So, two tasks. The first is to connect to the API that is going to be named uh, login because we are going to perform the login uh, module ansible dot built in dot URI. Here we go. And a lot of parameter. Are you ready? Let's go. URL will be the combination of the value of variable server here we go and endpoint in my case plus we start having fun a method will be post because this uh, api need post and whatever oh the body format will be body underscore format will be json because we are going to specify the username and password in the body. In my case, the body will be... F I can copy and paste from the website. So let me take uh, uh, from the website. Let me copy and paste uh, here. Exactly here. Here we go. The email and password that are provided by the website you can customize based on your API. The status underscore code expected is 200 and whatever. Timeout is 30 seconds and we are going to save the output to the result variable. So register result. Uh, another task called token that is going to target uh, Ansible built-in debug. So we can print it out on screen the token and the variable will be result.json.token. This is the name of the output from the API. So as you can see, few line of code, I'm connecting to a remote service, I'm sending some request, exactly email and password I know is is still plain text but is in HTTPS and we are expecting a 200 result in 30 seconds and save this result to a variable. Then we can use this variable token whatever we want in our API. So in this way we obtain the token and we can use as much as we want. Now let's jump to the console for the real code execution. Welcome to my console, it's going to be a very fast execution, so ansible-playbook and I'm going to specify also my inventory file, my demo machine, here we go, and the path of my playbook to post login YML and in a blink of an eye the playbook is returning OK status, which means that it's connecting to the API service, is sending the login information, get back a token, and as you can see, is saved in an Ansible variable that we can use for our everyday scope. And what if uh, we send the wrong information, like a wrong lo login? What happened? Back on my editor, let me change the username with a wrong one. So for example, wrong user. 
uh, let me type wrong user and let's see what is going to happen because uh, for Ansible this is a correct playbook but uh, for the API no so I'm not expecting to receive any token and to be honest I'm expecting also a different HTTP status code so let's see back on my console for the code execution so ansible dash playbook dash e my inventory file again and uh, my playbook file I saved to another one so could be useful for you to redo the incorrect to verify the result here we go the execution this time uh, I'm not expecting to go well I'm not expecting to see a token and let's see as uh, per definition the API returned 400 HTTP status and Ansible stopped the execution as you can see status code was 400 and not 200 so we return an error because a different status was returned so good job Ansible now you know how to get a token based authentication in REST API with Ansible thank you for watching and see us on the next lesson and adventure of Ansible Pilot as well if you like it give me a thumbs up write a comment and whatever this video is part of our Ansible automation program sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun